My name is Jessica. I'm an expressive arts therapist and mental health counselor. And I designed these groups with the Office of Student and Family Engagement to be a space for students to take time for themselves and reflect, maybe learn some new art making techniques and um, just really connect with other students. These groups are all hosted on Zoom as well as the activities and meditations are posted on the website. And so if you don't have the ability to attend the Zoom when it's happening, you can do all the activities on your own. The materials were all sent in the um, Office of Student and Family Engagement boxes this semester. And most of them are also things that you can do with materials you have around the house as well if you didn't get one of those boxes. These groups all follow a similar structure. So they'll start with a brief introduction some type of meditation or reflective time, um, art making, and then um, connecting as a group at the end if anyone likes to share what they made or wants to talk about the process. Um, since this is going to be done through video, if you'd like to share um, anything that you made as a result of these groups, you're welcome to um, post them online either directed at the Office of Student and Family Engagement's Instagram or my Instagram, Creative Grounding. That piece is always optional though. Um, it's really, one, not about what you make or what it looks like, um, and two, it's for yourself. So um, if you'd like to share, I'm happy to see, but there is absolutely no pressure to, to do that, whether it's in person or um, you're making it on yourself outside of the regular Zoom time. So today's group is going to be focused on creating strength stones. Um, so some examples here of what those look like. This is one that I made during the group for this and I put the word yes um, because one of the strengths that I want to focus on is saying yes to more things and being a little more spontaneous. Um, and then this is another one that's a little bit more simple that just says the words Fly that someone actually gave to me when I um, graduated from college, as I believe it was college. But um, so you can kind of take them as simple as you'd like, or if you want to get a little bit more creative. Um, but the idea is that you're making these stones as something that can either be strengths that you have that you use a lot, or it can be thinking of a strength that you might need um, and when you go into a situation where you might need to use that strength like if you have a difficult presentation coming up or um, some of the challenges that come from being a student and working at home uh, maybe focus could be one um, that you can have these stones either on your desk or in your pocket they're a nice size that you can hold onto once they're sealed off the supplies that you're going to need for this project is um, these little blank stones that came in your uh, Office of Student and Family Engagement box. You can also get these at craft stores. Um, I usually get them at the dollar store. Um, so there's lots of different places you can find these or you can um, adapt this activity as well. You can always use just a regular stone or rock or um, just participate in the activity and use um, paper and do a collage. It's really, um, like I said earlier, more about what you get out of it than what it looks like or it being the exact right way. So you'll need some type of stone or stone-like thing. Um, Elmer's glue, scissors, um, and if you want a collage, you can use collage materials if you have them. I'm going to be using this little beach scene. Um, travel magazines are really great for this. Um, you can also just use any paper that you have or um, pens, whatever you have around. So now to really help us land and focus our attention on ourselves, um, we're going to move into our meditation time. And the meditation we're going to be doing today is based on the rainbow meditation script that is from the Don Sealander website. 
d-a-w-n-s-e-l-a-n-d-e-r.com and um, this meditation will help us land and ground ourselves and start to think about some of our strengths um, as well as just kind of move us from whatever was happening before this group or a time for yourself or after and just really focus on this space you're creating for yourself now. So just start to get comfortable. Um, the good thing about being at home is that you can do this meditation seated at your desk or um, kitchen table, wherever you sit, or it could be on the ground, laying down in your bed, whatever is going to be most comfortable for you and a place that as best you can, um, you won't be interrupted. <sighs> so once you're in the space you're going to be meditating in, um, just start noticing your points of contact, um, whether that is the chair, the floor, and just notice how you're sitting. Notice any parts of tension. Notice how you're breathing. And just start to release any tension or places you're holding and starting to breathe a little more intentionally. And if you'd like to close your eyes, if that feels safe, I invite you to do so at this time. You can also have a soft gaze, which is just another way of saying your eyes kind of down, not staring at one spot in particular. And just starting to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and starting to imagine a big beautiful rainbow in front of you um, noticing the colors feeling the colors Feeling the sun on you, feeling the soft grass or blanket wherever you're sitting on underneath this imaginary rainbow. And starting first to take notice of the color red. And the color red in this rainbow is glowing brighter than the red, the rest, and it's glowing all around you. Breathing in the color red and thinking to yourself, I'm safe. Now, imagine the color orange is glowing brighter than the others in this rainbow and orange is surrounding all around you. Breathing in orange. Thinking to yourself, I'm powerful. I'm confident. And breathing out anything that's holding you back. Now, imagine the color green is glowing brighter. And there's green all around you. Breathing in the color green, thinking to yourself, I'm loved. And breathing out anything that tells you otherwise. Now imagine the color light blue is glowing brighter and the light blue is all around you. Breathing in light blue. Breathing in, feeling heard. Now imagine the color dark blue or indigo is getting brighter and indigo is all around you. Breathing in indigo. Breathing in imagination, creativity, and breathing out anything that's not serving you. 
Now imagine the color purple is glowing bright and the color purple is all around you. Breathing in purple, thinking to yourself, I'm wise, I'm smart. <sighs> Breathing out anything you don't need to hold on to. Now take one last look at your rainbow and notice if you see anything or feel anything and thinking to yourself, I'm wise. I've created this vision for myself. And notice if you're starting to feel anything different. Breathing in another color, anything that's sticking with you that you feel like you need. And breathing out anything you don't. <sighs> when you're ready, you can start to come back to your space. You can wiggle your fingers and your toes, starting to notice any points of contact and opening your eyes if you close them. So now that we've had some time to reflect, um, I'm gonna take a moment and think of a few strengths that you'll either need in the upcoming future or that um, you hold really dear to yourself um, and use often. And um, there's going to be a strengths list included with this video, so sometimes um, it can be tough to think of those things right on the spot if nothing necessarily came to you really clearly during the meditation time. Um, so if you need any help, we do have that list. Um, but otherwise, you can feel free to go ahead and make sure you're, there should be three or four stones in your box, so you're welcome to make one, or if you want to have a few strengths that you're focusing on, you can make a few stones. Um, so make sure you have the stones, the glue, scissors, and um, any paper or other materials that you're going to be using. Um, the images I'm going to actually be collaging today are from a travel magazine. Um, they have really great pictures for uh, experientials like this, um, and any other catalogs, newspapers, whatever you have around the house. So once you have your materials, um, you can start making your collage. So the idea is that you are going to be seeing it um, through the stone. So it's helpful um, to kind of trace and cut that out ahead of time. So if you're going to be using a blank piece of paper and drawing, you can do it that way. Um, if you're going to be using a little image from a catalog or something like that, you can do it this way. Um, so I just like to trace along the image. So I have that, so I know that's the size I'm going to be working with. And I'm going to be using some of these words.
so I think those are going to be the words I'm going to use on this one. Um, so it says finding joy, or find joy rather. So I'm going to glue these on first. And then once you have your little collage done, you can cut out that circle that you traced earlier. And now it's actually going to be time to glue it on your stone. So you want to put a um, Elmer's glue or any glue that liquid glue that dries clear. Um, if you are really into crafts and have Mod Podge, that works as well. And so when it first goes on, you can't see the image, but don't worry, when it dries, you'll be able to. And then if you want to trim any of the edges, I'm going to do some trimming right now. Do that. over and I did trace mine with pen so I'm also um, trimming some of that pen off so you can't see that So now that mine is um, trimmed the way that I would like it to be, I'm going to do the last piece, which is just going to be sealing the back. And you really don't want to be shy with the glue on this part because this is going to be what really bonds it all together and makes it so that if this is something you want to carry around with you, that it will... Um, stay sealed off in the way it needs to be so make sure you're really you can also use um a paintbrush as well if you have a, a spare one i'm just using my fingers because i don't mind that texture and really focusing on getting those edges and then um can't see what it looks like yet because it is still very gluey but i'm gonna just leave this to dry and then um when it's done it will dry clear on the back just like um, this one I made in the past but um, you can see it really clearly through the stone.